Okay, this is a laptop. HP, I'm coming to replace this keyboard. Okay, I'm coming to replace the keyboard. So the first thing you have to do, you have to take out all the screw back of the laptop first. So many screws. Okay, make sure you take out all the screws. Make sure you take out all the screw back of the laptop, okay? You take out the silicon. Sometimes you have to open this thing. There's screw here, but the screw already removed, okay? Like someone tried to open it before, you check the other side. Okay, then you put this one back also so that this uh, glue will not dirty. Because when the glue is dirty, this rubber cannot fix again. So you just put it back after you remove the screws. Check this side also. Okay, here there is no screw. Okay, after you check everything, you try to open the, the laptop. There's a clip here, you just try to open the clip. Just try to open it right on like this. All this clip, okay? Then you put it like this and remove the back cover. Okay, you take out the back cover. Okay, after you open the back cover, you have to take out the battery. The first thing you have to do, you have to disconnect the battery first, okay? This is the first thing you have to do because you have to take out everything, the motherboard, the uh, addicts, everything to get to the keyboard, okay? So you remove first the battery. You have to make sure any screw you remove, you have to make sure you know where you remove it, okay? The battery have three screws. Take out the battery first, okay? You have to take out the motherboard, everything, okay? You remove the Addix. This is the Addix connector. You take it out. You remove the Addix like this. You just bend it up, okay? Then you try to... Always make sure you check the motherboard so at least you can find out anywhere there's screw, okay? Remove the LCD connector, okay? Use the speaker, take out the speaker. Just remove the screw here. Remove the connector for the speaker. Okay, you find any screw, take out the screw here also. Okay. Disconnect the Wi-Fi the Wi -Fi card. Remove the Wi-Fi cable like this. Okay, stay watching. Take out the processor fan. Remove the processor fan to the one side. Okay, try to remove the motherboard. Okay, you disconnect the connector. This one. Okay, this one is one up here also. This one is for the on and off button. Okay, this one is for this other USB side. Okay, you disconnect the, how do you call it, the, how do you, the, the back lights. Okay, and disconnect the keyboard cable. Disconnect the mouse. Okay. You have to make sure anything you disconnect, you know where you disconnect it, okay? Okay, disconnect this one. This one for the uh, memory card slots. You disconnect it, okay. Then you come to the this inch side. You have to remove the inches also, so you can have access to take out the charging system. You have to very be careful. Remove the screws there. Okay, remove this one also. You take out the, you try to separate the screen from the the keyboard side, so it will be more easier for you to fix. Okay, just open the inches like this. Okay, remove the cable. Then for this side, if you cannot 
it's the inches up just try to open the laptop a bit like this and close it again the inches will come up then you open the inches like this okay you try to remove the keyboard the keyboard side separate it from the screen you remove the screen you put it one side okay the charging system is this side okay you take out the charging system Okay, with the motherboard put it one side okay the keyboard is down here okay you need to remove everything now you remove the speaker already remove the one screw from the speaker another speaker is here remove the other screw there also okay, you take out the speaker put it one side okay Remove this motherboard because this metal is under there. You have to remove this uh, memory card slot so I can have access to this uh, panel because you need to take out this panel to take out the keyboard. Okay, put it one side and remove this USB port here, the left one from the laptop. Okay, take out the motherboard, put it one side. Okay, this is on and off button. You have to take it out because the panel is closed under there also. Make sure you take out all the screws. Take out. You have to make sure where you remove them and where you need to put them back. Okay. You move this one. Put the one side. Okay. Okay. After you remove everything, now you need to remove this panel. Okay. This panel is no screw. It's clip. You just forced to remove it. After you finish, you fix it back with the solder iron. Okay. You just try to open it like this. This there is no other way to open it. This is the only way you have to use. You have to open it with force because there is no screw. It's just a clip. Okay, you open the clip all like this okay just open them step by step you just be careful don't do anything funny okay just take your time open it like this slowly okay, you have to get get into the keyboard side okay this is the only way you have to do it. There's no other way to do it because there's no screw on it. You have to take out this panel. Okay. You open everything. You have to remove it all. Okay. Okay. After you remove the panel, okay. Now you just need to remove the keyboard. Okay. You take out the keyboard. same thing how you take out the panel you just first is it, it up like this okay this is the only way you have because all is clip just remove all the clip okay just remove it like this okay you take out the keyboard remove the keyboard okay then you clean inside very well so you can put other keyboard inside you clean it very nice okay so you move all the dust so you can put other keyboard inside okay after you move the keyboard when you want to fix the new keyboard before you fix the new keyboard you have to remove the backlight from the old keyboard and transfer it to the new the, the the new keyboard okay you have to remove it from the old keyboard first okay you take your time you just remove this black plastic you just try to set it up like this separate it from the metal like this okay just do it like this it's a glue just separate it you know it's a bit hard but we'll just open it and separate it from the from the old keyboard because you are going to use it on the new one okay just make sure you put, open everything okay this is the only way you have to do it you have to take it out because it's never opened before this is the first time to open it
Make sure you take it out all, okay? Remove everything, separate it from the, the keyboard, okay? Just like this. Okay, make sure you remove it all, okay? Okay, after you remove the backlights for the keyboard from the old one, okay? Now you fix the keyboard. You just lay the keyboard straight like this, exactly how you take it out from the other one. Make sure it's rest properly, very nice. Okay. Then you watch the back, see if the keyboard is the same keyboard. See it's the same, okay. Okay. Make sure the keyboard rests very well inside this rubber. All go inside very well like this. Before you start using the sodium iron to bend the rubber so that the keyboard will rest. So make sure the keyboard rests first very nice inside. So it will be more easier for you to bend the rubber. Okay. Some of the rubber is like you remove the head on top so that the keyboard will rest properly. Okay, like this. When you bend the rubber also, you just press the keyboard in so that the keyboard will rest because the keyboard needs to rest properly inside. Okay. Okay. You fix the keyboard first before you fix the back lights. Okay. So now you need to start fixing the keyboard. All this rubber, you need to bend them. Don't uh, bend the long ones. You leave it for the metal on top. Just bend the short, short one like this. You, you bend it and you put your hand on it. Don't scare, nothing happens to your hand, okay? So that the keyboard will rest properly. Okay. Just like this, you just put the studio in like this and squeeze the keyboard down and squeeze the rubber so the rubber will hold the keyboard. You have to do it everywhere, okay? Like this. Just put the sudan like this. So the rubber will come up, then you squeeze it and squeeze the keyboard, okay? After you do this side, do the same thing this side also. You try to do the, the, the four corner first. Okay, do the same thing here also. Just bend the rubber. And hold it with your hand. Don't scare, nothing happens to you, okay? Just hold it there so the rubber will rest and hold the keyboard properly. This one also. Hold it like this. Do the same thing also here. And hold it. This one also. Okay, hold it like this just for a few minutes so that the rubber will get cold and hold the keyboard this one also you have to do it everywhere when there's a rubber okay do it everywhere like this okay you really like this okay after you do the two corner side be careful for this connector don't put the sedan in there if the sedan is burned this one the keyboard will spoil the keyboard will spoil okay so you have to protect this connector okay you do this side also. You hold it like this. Just do it on the, the main main side. All the cable, uh, rubber side, bend them and do it like this. So the keyboard will rest properly from the lap on the laptop, okay? Do this one also. Do it like this. Same to this one also. Do it like this. You have to do everywhere the same thing okay okay after you fix the keyboard very nice like this okay now you need to fix the the back lights okay okay the back lights you just fix it very straight exactly how you fix the keyboard like this just put it very straight like this okay just do it very straight like this just like there there's a bit glue under there you just press press the glue the glue will rest on top like this okay before you put the metal on top okay do it like this, very nice. Okay. And now you need to put the metal on top. Okay, you just put the metal exactly how you take it out. Make sure you put it very straight, don't bend it. 
okay straight like this you do the same thing to the metal also just like i do the keyboard okay you do the same thing also you have to bend all the the rubber so the metal will rest make sure you rest them properly first like this okay they do the same thing also do the same thing everywhere okay just like i do the keyboard everywhere don't scared nothing happens to your hand just burn it and just squeeze it nothing happens to your hand okay because it's not that hot it's just normal Don't scared okay to put your hand there just put your hand there okay you have to do it everywhere okay okay make sure you keep the metal is rest properly use the sudan and bend the rubber on top they hold it like this okay You have to do it everywhere okay okay after i fix the metal very nice okay don't forget you have to fix this plastic back so that the motherboard do not short if you don't fix this plastic and you fix the motherboard on top this metal will short the motherboard and the mother will become short okay so you have to make sure you fix this plastic back very nice exactly how you pick it like this just put them like this very nice okay after you fix this plastic okay the, before you fix the motherboard you have to fix the speaker back because this cable this cable pass under the motherboard okay you fix the speaker back first okay then you pass back the cable exactly how you take it out like this okay you replace back the two screw you take out from the speaker Okay, now you put the motherboard. You just put the motherboard like this, straight, exactly how you take it. You make sure all the cable is out like this. Put the motherboard very nice. And fix back the charging system exactly how you take it, okay? Like this, okay? Make sure this plastic is rest properly. If this plastic is not rest properly, it's not good for the motherboard. Like this, okay? And replace the screw back we take out from the motherboard first, this side. So dirty. Okay. Then you put back the processor fan first. You place the screw. Make sure you fix everything back you take out. Connect the processor fan. Okay. Then you fix the on and off. The one you take out that this one.
Just make sure it fixes very nice how you take it out. Then don't forget the screw is different. The screw is big screw like this. You put it back here. So close the, the motherboard. Okay. If you want, you can still connect the cable one now. Make sure you put it very nice like this. Okay. Then you put this USB cable. Put this USB, this left side USB here. Put the, fix the connection back. Okay, replace back the screw you take here. This screw is different, small screw. This one. This. Put it back. When you want to put the screw on the motherboard, make sure there's a white arrow point to that screw hole. That will show you that that side is supposed to have a screw. Okay? Make sure you replace all the screws where you take them out. If you see the hole, there is no white sign there. You don't need to put screw there. That side is for the screw that's coming out from the back of the laptop will pass through that side. Okay? Okay? Then you fix the memory card slots also here connect okay you replace the screw back take out from there Okay, after you fix the motherboard and replace some of the screws and okay then now you need to fix the screen you just put the screen like this okay you have to slide the you have to slide the inside like this okay just put it down straight like this okay you close the inches okay and close these other inches also okay then you replace the big screw you take out from there. Their own screw is different. The screw is big, big. Just replace them back. And you see the arrow. When you see the arrow, you know that this place is supposed to have screw. If you don't see arrow, don't put the screw there, okay? It's the screw that's coming from the back of the laptop. will be past that side, okay? You replace all the screw on the inches. You can see somebody's sink again. You place this one, okay? Uh, yeah, you place all the screw, okay? Uh, yeah, Put all the screw here, okay? Uh, nine, nine then you pass this one. Pass the, the you LCD the cable. cable. You connect the LCD uh, cable here. Make sure you fix it very nice. Make sure the line is close to the connector before you close it like this. Okay. Okay. After you fix the LCD cable, you make sure you fix the network cable back. Fix it very nice, exactly how you take it. Don't fix it the wrong way, so the network will not become very weak. Make sure you connect it the right side. Connect it very nice. Okay. And you fix all this cable back. Okay. This one for the backlight, you fix it very nice. Okay. And fix the keyboard cable. Make sure you fix it very nice. You rest inside properly like this and close it. Okay. Okay. Then fix back the mouse, the mouse cable like this. Make sure this black, this cover is there like this. If it's not there, you put it back. If not, the mouse will not work. Okay. Then fix back this the addicts. Okay, you fix back the connector inside. Very nice. Okay. 
after you fix everything you make sure you check everything is fixed perfectly the battery is the last one you're supposed to fix okay after everything fixed very nice then you fix the battery now okay The battery have three screw. Make sure you place all the three screw that you take out from there, okay? Okay, then you fix back the battery cable. Fix it very nice straight. Like this. Okay, after I fix everything, very nice. Okay, then you fix the back cover now. Make sure you fix it very straight exactly how you take it out. Okay, you just press press the clip like this. You just close it. Okay. Close it very nice and fix back the CD ROM. This one. Okay, then you replace all the screw, you take back back of the laptop. Replace all the screw, okay? Okay, after you close the laptop, you on the laptop to test the keyboard. Okay, the laptop is on. It's booting, okay? As you can see, the laptop is on. Then you, when you want to test the keyboard, you just come to shot. You click the shot like this, okay? When the shot is open, you see this top here, you just try to press the key. You see the keys coming from this side here. You see the keys, okay? Every key is open, the keyboard is working now, okay? That means it's okay. Hello, guys. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.